Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. If you haven't seen the calendar lately, it's July already, which means we're in full swing FIFA FC24 summer content, right? Festival of football, greats of the game icons. It's been good to start off, but there's one of the fan favorite summer promos that we see every single year that we actually have some leaks for, and it's big time information and news that I want to talk about because this promo is not that far away, even though we're in the midst of the Euros and Copa America. I want to talk about the car designs that were leaked, what it means, and when those promos will be released, and of course, today, this current promo, this content, it's Tuesday, so you know what that means. We're getting some sort of upgrade pack or player pick, but what is it going to be? How is it going to impact things? And is it going to be good? Because last week's was not. So let's talk about that and more. If you're excited for that footies promo that we're speaking about today, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about yesterday's SBC content. First, starting with the player SBCs, though, because, guys, it felt like yesterday was a day of regression in terms of the hype of this promo. A lot of people are finishing the crafting SBCs. We had the player picks yesterday that weren't as good. And the player SBC kind of just fit in with that, to be honest. Luis Figo, the Portuguese icon, and now especially after seeing how Portugal played yesterday, winning on penalties, but not scoring any goals to progress this cards toward upgrades, it's not looking that good for this SBC, even further so. Five-star skills, four-star weak foot. The stats are good, not great. They are good, though. Technical, rapid, ping, pass, and trickster plus for a four-play style plus card here with Figo. So that means if Portugal are able to score four goals, he would get a plus one to a 96 for the first upgrade, and then a 99 stat. Probably you would guess pace or dribbling would be his 99 stat if they were able to score four, which it's not looking that good because they have a pretty tough matchup after now advancing onto the quarterfinals of the Euros. Now, the price of this Figo SBC is 1.1 million coins. You can see that it is very, very downvoted. Um, I think it's just because, guys, again, Portugal, with how they played yesterday, not looking the best to continue on scoring goals through the Euros, but also... I just think this card isn't that special, especially because he's a right wing or a cam. Think about how many other great right wings like Arda Guler, Javi Simons, or center attacking mids like the Seedorf that we literally just had were cards that were more exciting and more fun. This one to me, even Barcola is somebody who you'd probably still use in the team over this Figo card. So it's just not special enough. If you're a Portuguese, if you want a Luis Figo card, if you've been wanting to use him, then boom, here you have an opportunity to go get him. 1.1 million coins in 12 squads is just annoying enough for it to be expensive, but it's not too much that it's like ridiculous, kind of like Rooney or Cafu. Although you would say Cafu maybe is a card you would use for longer and more worth the fodder per se, right? We talked about that a lot yesterday. Still on the fence whether I'm not going to do this card or not, but I think this Figo, for more people, is one that they're not as interested in doing. Now, the other player SBC that we had yesterday was another one of those random flashbacks that they like to keep dropping. And uh, right last week, it was Kim Little. This week, it's Banini. She's had a couple special cards this year, and she's been pretty meta in game for a couple of those versions. She has Finesse, Incisive, Trivella, and Long Ball Pass Plus on this flashback version of her card. She's 5'4", four, 4 star skill moves, 5 star weak foot. She has some really good playstyle regulars on her card as well. The best thing about this SBC and the reason why I've actually started to complete this, guys, is because there's no team of the season requirements or team of the week requirements, and I've got a lot of gold fodder from ripping all of the crafting upgrade packs, and I'm running out of team of the weeks that I want to put into player SBCs, so... I put some of my duplicates into this SBC. It's an 87 and 88 rated squad. It's 170,000 coins. And uh, Argentinian links. So if you've got some Argentinian PTGs, um, you know, Copa America live cards that you want to put in your team, she would link with those as well. Decent play style pluses. Maybe just a fun card to try for 150k. I really don't have too many complaints. I don't think it's going to be a game-changing card. It's just something that's fun to do if you're interested. Now, let's talk about the upgrade SBCs, which were slightly lackluster. We'll talk about the good one first. Start with the positive news. The 85-plus player pick is back, which we hoped that it would be. This is a banger. It's an 84-rated squad, of course, which you can do three times per day. Where is it at? I did it three times, didn't I? Oh, I didn't even get it done three times. Oh, my goodness. I only did it once, you're telling me. I have two more times I can do it. Well, I will favor that SBC to get it done because... It is absolutely worth getting done, guys. Right here, this player pick is the best pick that we got yesterday. I saw many people packing promo cards, icons out of this. I was getting a whole bunch of tweets 
of people hitting some of the fodder cards, but also some of the good ones as well. So make sure you're getting these done each and every day, especially with the crafting upgrade as you go ahead and complete that. And the other player pick yesterday was the 81 plus and this is the one that we were expecting the exact same requirements as a couple of weeks ago it's 11 golds two rares and a lot of people are unhappy with the fact that you have to turn in more players for an 81 plus player pick than you did for an 82 plus player pick right well it's that one of four instead of the one of three option here I don't know. This is really, really mid for me because, yes, the 82 plus player pick was 100% better and it does require more players to put into this player pick, but it's still a player pick that is out right now that is unlimited repeatable during this promo where the pack weight for icons still is pretty good. So I think it's worth doing and I really believe you're going to be able to get a lot done with the objective packs that are there with the daily gold upgrades to get the gold commons and, of course, rinsing through exchanges all the time with the high rates that you get you're going to be able to keep the craft alive in my opinion uh, as long as you're not crafting a player spc you're going to run out of fodder if you try to do that but if you're just doing exchanges crafting through the 81 plus pick doing the team elite player picks as well i think they're still okay to go ahead and do but i'd almost wonder if you're trying to grind the menus a little bit right now too and if you're out of the crafting upgrades already maybe you start to sprinkle in the 79 times threes because you at least get three players back from that and where you, whereas for an Amy one plus player pick, you only get one player back. So I know the grind is not as good, but that's why we were really mentioning to try to do as many 82 plus player picks and why I was going for the 82 plus picks before I knew they were going away. And now I'm focusing on the crafting upgrade, which I did. I did literally like 60 of these yesterday. We're down under 100. We're going to make a big dent in on that today. And I only packed one pool yield yesterday. My luck was really off. So I hope it turns around today. But the menu grind is kind of a little subdued based off of that promo grind yesterday being a little bit less. Now, I want to talk about promo packs in the store here for a quick second because the 725,000 coin pack was refreshed yesterday and a lot of people with coins were going out and ripping this. So guess what? It made some prices on the market drop even further. Greats of the game, icons and heroes are dropping even further, guys. Uh, Roberto Carlos, I sold him literally yesterday in the morning. Let me check my transfer list. What was the price? At 1.17. He's now 950K, maybe even a little bit below that now. I sold Pirlo at 680. He's 550. Torres, after his insane upgrade, is 350K, 360. He was over 400 yesterday. So a lot of the cards on the market are still dropping because I think that store pack refresh takes a lot of coins off of the market. At the same time, people are spending coins, going and doing upgrade packs, buying fodder. I also think people are going and buying exchanges. If you take a look at the mid to high tier fodder, look at 89s. All 89s and above are 25,000 coins. Yes, it's because of some of the SBCs, like the Icon Player Pick that I think people are crafting as well, and other player SBCs like Rooney and Cafu, which people need those higher rates for. But I also think people are just going out, spending coins at this stage of the game on 89s and 90 and 91 rated cards because they're all the same price to put into the exchanges to get the gold players to go and do player picks and grind the menus. And I think that's taking these prices up and I think that's bringing the rest of the market down still. I hope there's a low point because I'm still interested in investing in a few of these cards. I did trade with a couple of them yesterday. I sold a Mateus. I bought it at 1.25, sold it at 1.43. The Marquinhos I bought last night in the vid for 410. Sorry, bought it for 310, sold it for 410. I sold all of my Jude Bellingham's just now, made a couple hundred K from those. There were really some good flips yesterday. Like the market still is prime for flipping. It's just you're trying to get the quick flip trades here and there while most of the market is still like dropping down. It's a really weird kind of tough time to trade, especially with the Path to Glory cards dropping after games as well. Pedri's under a million coins. Spain have been cooking, still a live card there. Um, you know, a lot of the Belgium cards dropped off yesterday. This Doku's not really down that much, but Trossard and Lukaku are down a bunch from where they were before. So it's a really weird market at the moment. And the price the prices are mostly going down, but it's got to stop sometime, right? I do think that some of these greats of the game cards will go up, but I think the ones that are going to go up are the ones that are still live have upgrade potential, and uh, have good matchups heading into their next round. And also the ones that have matchups coming soon too. Like you wouldn't want to go invest in Torres because yeah, sure, he's a cracked card, but he doesn't have any hype for upgrades, right? You'd really want to look at maybe a French icon like a Desai for the uh, game that they have upcoming, or maybe you're looking at Mateus. I don't know. 
Maybe Charlton, if you think England can go ahead and do it. He's from the mini release as well, so he's going to be a little bit more rare. But even his price, 960k. Yeah, he's down. He's back up a little bit, but he's down crazy. Like, I sold him yesterday at 1.1 million as well. So maybe he rebounds back up a little. It's just going to be a timing thing. When do these cards start to go back up? When does the panic kind of end? That's going to be the tough t thing to time, and it will be risky. So do your best there if you're going to try to time that out. But I think today, maybe you're near nearer to a low spot than you were yesterday in terms of those prices there. Now, let's talk about the upgrade. Speaking of the Euro and the Copa games, I think EA uh, are on holiday, guys. As we mentioned in the video yesterday, um, it, it, it was a Canadian holiday yesterday, Canada Day. And I think that is why we are looking at these Portuguese players like Ruben Diaz, and Bernardo Silva from the season pass that have not been upgraded yet with their fourth playstyle plus because they achieved that upgrade as um, Portugal got their third win yesterday. Now, no mistakes like the England ones from last night, right, where they upgraded those um, early. So hopefully they upgrade these early today on Tuesday, along with the Uruguayans, who of course just beat USA 1-0. Very disappointing result as a USA fan. A lot of frustration there. Putting that aside to do this video, after this is just right after the game, and that's why the video is a little late today because of that. But um, Araujo and Bentancur are both going to get fourth place style pluses today as well. There might even be an upgrade. I don't think there's an upgrade for a Panama player because they won, but that was only their second win, I think. Um, but that is going to take, if you did the Araujo SBC, he's looking like one of the best ones so far of PTG. I know that I skipped on this one because I did Joe Gomez, and he got the fourth place style plus. Going to be really interested to see what they give Araujo ho for a play style plus same thing with benton core because i have him and his card looks cracked already and he's in my team but uh he's going to get another play style plus hopefully they get upgraded this morning early because that is kind of necessary hopefully uh they keep the fast upgrades going and don't fraud here with this day off that they have taken but i would imagine those upgrades come quick because they've maintained the consistency over this competition now games that are happening today the last round of 16 games for the euros and the last group games of copa america it's Netherlands that we're really watching today for upgrades, right? You've got Javi Simons. You've got the Seedorf that a lot of people did. And maybe some of the other PTG or Make Your Mark cards or icons that are still looking for upgrades like Hullet, you know, De Young, Depay. They're looking for wins towards upgrades today as well. And then Austria, Sabitzer, and Turkey. You've got Arda Guler. So you've got plenty of cards today that are either SBCs, objectives, or just very popular cards themselves with potential upgrades on the line. You guys know what I'm going to say. Sell on the hype because a lot of the Dutch cards are still a little bit up. Like this VVD, I think the... The De Young card, he has dropped a lot, but he could go further down. So I think I would sell in the hype on a card like that today as well. You guys know the vibes because, again, stuff like especially the French icons yesterday, the French icons from great to the game are dropping like crazy. Thierry Henry is like 2.8 mil right now. Like That's a astonishing price to me for a card that was like, I think he was 4 mil just on Sunday. And now he's 2.8, 2.7. Crazy, crazy price drops there because... They didn't score that many goals, and they're not getting upgrades. So that's kind of the issue there with that game, and maybe the issue going forward with some of the games as well. But again, Brazil and uh, Colombia play in the Copa, so those are going to be cards you want to watch later on tonight as well for the potential upgrades and movement towards those, and the showdown as well if you did that one. Now, let's talk about the leaks that are at hand, guys, because, yeah, we're talking about footies today, which is like, wait a second, we're in the middle of greats of the game. This promo content has been really good. Sure, it's slowed down a little bit, but the weekend was crazy. The pack weight's been great. It's been refreshing. We still have the Euros and Copa America going on for basically a couple more weeks, like 12 more days. What's up with footies now? We're talking about something else? Yes, we are, because this is news hot off the press. Cards added to the code, official card designs for the staple summer promo that we talk about every single summer looking forward to. It is footies, and it is July now, guys, which means we're not far from this. We'll talk about that in a second. Here's the official footies card design, which I saw right away yesterday, and I was like, that looks really mid. It looks very basic. And of course, it's the footies pink that we always expect, right? That is the big thing with footies. You can tell what the footies cards is every single time, every single year they get dropped because it's always that vibrant pink color. But the rest of the card looks really 
basic and I don't have a problem with basic and have something like modest and just chill. I don't mind that. But uh, I think this is maybe a little bit too basic. It almost looks like it's like just a plain objective card or something. Now, there are a couple of other card designs that I want to build off of this. But I just want to show you really quick in comparison between this year's card design and last year's, right? This is this year's base footy card design. This was last year's base footies card design, like the Sancho card that we had, right? He had more gold around the edges, more designs, more gold inside of the card as well. This looks like it's mostly pink, couple of little designs and just little specks of gold. Really a lot more basic and simple than that footies card that than what was released last year. Now, there's more, and that's good news, because we also have the footies premium design added to the code, which is, remember, the crown right from last year, those footies premium cards that get the boosted chemistry. That's going to continue forward, right? We have the greats of the game cards, the PTGs, the make your marks that all get that boosted chemistry. Uh, that's continuing during footies as well, which we love with the crown and, of course, kind of that gold, um, you know, design in the middle of the card and the edging around the outside of the card as well. If you remember the footies premium design last year, of course, this is probably one of the cards you think about. That Cristiano Ronaldo 99, we had the Messi 99, we had Donnarumma, Neymar, I think. There was plenty of 99 rated cards. They're probably going to come back at the end game this year as well. This, honestly, if you think back to footies at the end game FIFA 23, like some of the last weeks of footies was really... One of the most hyped times on FIFA 23 with the pack grind that was there, all the SBCs that were out. It was just like crazy fun, out of this world, insane packs all the time. And just it was like fun on the game. It really, really was. And that's what I think is really bringing the hype into the footies end game time this year as well as everybody remembering how good it was last year. But this was last year's footies premium car design with the big time gold in the middle. You had more gold around the edges and of course the crown. Still this year design is a little more simple. But, you know, it's still there. It looks way better than the original footies design. Of course, this one here. So we're looking forward to that. And then here's what's the last and most interesting part about this. Footies icons. This is the footies icon design. And yes, it is a little more basic because I don't know about you guys, but I still think that comparing this to the greats of the game design, this card design right here is clear. I think this is going to be the best card design for icons on the game this entire year. Team of the year was really good as well, but this one is just, mm, it is mint. But this one looks, again, kind of similar to the other footies cards. Pretty simple, pretty basic, clean, I guess you could describe it as, as as well. And this starts to get my mind thinking. We just had all of these icons, like the whole list of icons for grades of the game, team one and team two, all released in the game. Who in the world is going to get an icon card? They're giving out more icon cards later on this month. And I guess, think about it, there are a lot of other icons who haven't got one, right? Maybe some non-Copa cards, like maybe Eto, maybe Mia Hamm, maybe Sawa. You have other players like Rio Ferdinand, Jarzinho, Eusebio, and Pele. I think there's really a good chance that some of those players who we didn't see promo cards for in the last week or two could be featured in the footies promo. I don't know what kind of boost or what kind of craziness they're going to figure out to do with those sorts of cards, but there are plenty of icons who have not been featured in a while who deserve to have new and upgraded cards for the end game. We're talking four play style pluses, probably not live because everything has been live for the past while. And footies cards historically have not been live and upgrading. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's a footies icon design that I thought was really, really interesting. Now, let's talk about when this is happening because, of course, we still have a couple of Euros promos to come. And like we mentioned, uh, the Euros and Copa America are still going for about 12 days. The season here is still available for nine days as well. But we are nearing the end of Season 7 Festival of Football. And I want to take your mind back, actually, to last year when we had the beginning of footies and FIFA 20 that date was July 21st. So believe it or not, we're not that far away from seeing a footies card design right here in this game. And maybe it's even as early as the next week, next Thursday with the new season dropping and season seven festival football ending. Maybe there's like a summer solstice or summer something with footies cards included in the season as soon as next week. But before we actually get footies cards and actually be inside of that promo, there's still two more Euro and Copa America promos that we have to go through. UEFA Euro International Stars and UEFA Euro Team of the Tournament, also with applicable Copa cards as well for International Stars and Team of the Tournament. I believe that the International Stars promo is going to be this Friday. There was a card design already added to the code. Not a lot of people have been talking about it, but 
it has been added. So I would expect that to be this Friday, kind of after the great to the game stuff that we have had. And then team in the tournament, which would make sense for that to be at the end, kind of encapsulating all of the individuals who had great performances during the Euros or during Copa America. I think that will be the last promo of the Euros. So you're talking this Friday, July 5th with international stars and then the 12th of team the tournament and then maybe we're looking at july 19th that would fall right along in line with the time frame of last year for the start of footies i know some people are asking nate what about shapeshifters because that's been a summer promo especially last year that we had i don't know maybe we'll get that maybe we won't we'll just have to see i think the new season upcoming this week will give us some clues and insights to that though or sorry next week not this week but i just wanted to kind of look through those leaks today and talk about that because i mean it's crazy to think about it but we are in july now and that means there are less than i mean this game really has what two months not even two months a month and a half left of content related to this game the cards are already so end game and so crazy but we're nearing the end which is really really crazy to think about especially as it is already july and we have footies leaks among us so i wanted to bring those up today and talk about that but let's talk about content today we're getting a little ahead of ourselves let's rein it back in great to the game content today on a tuesday right it's gamble Tuesday. We've had the 92 plus pack two weeks ago. Last week, we had the 92 plus PTG make your mark or make your mark plus player pick. And this was legit terrible because it was super expensive compared to the two week ago pack. And the weight was horrific. 87 and 88 rated squad, two team of the season or team of the weeks required. What are they going to drop today? I don't know. There's no new pack code added since they've been doing the player picks. I would assume they keep it going with the player picks. I think there was either a player pick or a pack that included the icons. I would not be surprised if they included the icons in this pack in some way, shape, or form, but we'll have to see. And then maybe, just maybe tomorrow, they give us a guaranteed uh, greats of the game icon pack. I don't know. That would be kind of crazy because with the icon packs, usually they don't allow you to pack what is currently out in the game and that's something that those tuesday and wednesday gamble upgrade packs recently during ptg and make your mark we're actually doing so i'm really curious to see what those are going to be today but we're going to get something 100 percent. and then of course our leaked sbc list here i guessed either figo or lisa razu yesterday we got figo we got to get a hero today right because we have casillas and unless casillas is going to be an sbc i'm really leaning towards guys there's been some rumors there's been some leaks he might actually be the weekend league objective player that we see tomorrow on wednesday so that could cause some movement on the market and that's that's not really a leak that's just kind of a rumor i think that's more of a guess as well but i think it's a pretty darn good guess so we'll see if he gets an sbc or if it's gomez mascherano or lizarazu today because we should be getting one if not two because again you count how many days are left in the in the, the week in this promo we're going to have to get two of these players at some point if all those are going to be coming so one or two of those will be coming today via sbcs High expectations, really, no, I don't, especially with all the SBCs that have been dropped, but we'll see. We'll let EA surprise us. I'm expecting a quieter day, to be completely honest. A good day to maybe get some Rivals games in, finish off those champs like I need to do as well, since I've been delaying on that, and maybe work on some objectives and work on some evolutions that you're behind on as well. Squad battles, a lot of you guys are asking about XP, XP. Well, hey, the best thing I can tell you is get your Rivals games in because you get XP, if we're getting the weekly reward and the reward upgrade and also squad battles the higher rank you get in squad battles if ea is not gonna give us xp um, just for going and doing objectives you can also get xp from playing the game and maybe that's why they've slowed it down a little bit because they're requiring a lot more games for objectives and stuff but as you can see inside the your rank you can see all the rewards in here you get 700 xp for top 100 which is crazy gold two what do you get 600 xp so i guess maybe moving up a little bit maybe there's a not much of an xp difference elite two 700 xp what are you getting silver to? You get 300 XP. So maybe you do play a little bit of squad battles, work on some evos, get some objectives done, get all that XP, and then also get a little bit of boost in XP there. There's more available in rivals, though, I will say that. So it's kind of more important to get your rivals games in to get that XP. But hopefully there's a few more bits of that today, although I wouldn't be expecting much. So guys, that's going to be the video for today. We have back 8.6 million coins. I have not opened the 725k pack. That's probably going to happen in the next two days or so. And I'm on the fence on whether or not I open all of my crafting objective packs at once or 
if I start opening them today, man, the weight yesterday for me was not good at all. Like I said, I only got one icon from doing all of those crafting. I literally did 60 of them yesterday. Um, it's, I don't know. I'm, I'm on the fence. Maybe you in the comments tell me how you did it. It would be fun to open these all at once. But if I wait to open them all at once, then I'm definitely going to have to have an SBC to craft. And I won't have the crafting upgrade to put like my low rated fodder into and craft the exchanges. You know what I'm saying? So I'm contemplating opening. I'm contemplating saving. Let me know what you guys did down in the comments. And that might help me um, make my decision today on stream. If you want to watch a stream, that link is down below in the description. I will check and I'll catch you guys there later today on Tuesday. If you enjoyed the video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. Subscribe if you're new and have a great Tuesday. It's been Nate Food Account. See you guys today in the stream. Peace out.